A lot of guitar players stumble when soloing over a chord progression that goes through multiple keys. So why does this happen? It's because you have to immediately be able to switch scales as you're soloing without having to take a minute to think about it. If you don't know the new key you're landing in very well, you will quickly find yourself train wrecking. Some guitar players can get their footing after a bar or two, but they very commonly screw up the transition between the two keys. Here's how to deal with this. For starters, just make sure you know the actual scale positions on the fretboard regardless of key. The next thing I like to do is target the third of whatever chord I'm landing on during the key change. The third is super indicative of the harmony. For example, if your penultimate chord is G minor, then the first chord of the key change is B flat minor, I would make sure to target D flat, which is the third of the B flat minor chord. Because G minor has a natural D in it, you could voice lead this well too. Two week guitar player reopens for enrollment in mid-December. Now is a great time to get on the waiting list too because it's still super early. Sign up to the waiting list now! Now just leave!